Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's project is going to be once again another Christmas themed video. I've got some decorations here for you. This is kind of a personalized family ornament. Uh, I found this design online and kind of made some changes to it. I've got a file linked down below for you. Um, I'm going to hop into Lightburn and show you sort of the different versions of this decoration because you can see I've got a couple different things going on here. So uh, this one has a solid back and then what I've done here is just taken some wrapping paper, cut that into a circle. That one will get glued. You can obviously choose uh, any different wrapping paper you want. This is just what I had on hand. And then this one will be the snowflake design from the other ornaments that we did. So that's the backing. Uh, the one in the file has this proper bow on the top. I just have this one sitting here, so I thought I would set it there. The snowflake I would generally paint white, and then uh, this one you could do whatever, maybe some stain or just leave it natural. Totally up to you. As always, the settings are for my longer Ray 5 10 watt. You may have to play with them a little bit. This is three millimeter wood. I'll have this link down below. This is a pretty nice thickness for decorations. I also have the 2.5 millimeter four by fours here. These are the 12 by 12. So you'll get about four out of this, maybe six if you scale them down a little bit, but I'll hop into Lightburn, give you a quick explanation on how to do this one and we'll get started. Okay guys, this is what you should see when you open up Lightburn. Now as you can see, I've got a couple different things going on here. So this is the one I've got kind of done at the moment. This is a five ball ornament. Um, now you would obviously click on this, right click the text and just edit the names in here on each one of these fields uh, for the names, for the main name at the bottom. And then I've got the snowflake here to go on the back. You could paint that white. Now, I've also got another option here with a four ball ornament and the solid back. So um, I'm just gonna regroup this here. Uh, yeah, this one's, you know, good for a family of four. That's going to sit over top of the solid back. Like you saw in the intro clip, I have um, just some wrapping paper on this one for a bit of a color pop. And then up here, I have one for you to make custom if you have a big family or there's just two of you, whatever the case may be. I've got two decorations here that you can just pop into uh, this blank one and I'll show you how to kind of merge them. Uh, we're not going to use the weld tool, but we are going to use the boolean tool. So just copy and paste that one. I'll put it right here in the middle just to uh, show you how to do this. And then just overlap the string from the ornament ball. Go ahead and highlight all of them and then go down here and click on the Boolean tool and it will merge them together. You don't wanna use the weld for this one. Um, you can try if you want, you'll get a bit of a different result, but I've got this shorter one here too, so you can put it up like this and uh, really just jam as many in here as, uh, as you want or as you need if you've got a big family. So same thing, come down here to the Boolean Hit it and you should be left with a nice merged shape that will cut and be all one piece when it's all said and done. So uh, yeah, copy and paste as many as you want. Stick them in here. You could probably fit six or seven in here if you jammed them in pretty tight. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I've got the blank all cleared out for you. I just want to show you one thing. If you use this long one, make sure it's only going into the outer frame. It doesn't extend beyond the outer frame because if you go ahead and use uh, either the weld or the boolean, you'll be end, uh, end up with a bit of a funny result here. So as you can see, it'll be sticking at the top. It's not cropping it. It is uh, merging the two. So make sure you use the shorter one towards the edge, the longer one towards the middle, and you shouldn't have any issues. So feel free to mix and match any of the combinations here you see below, and if you feel creative, maybe make your own background for one, see what you can come up with, and uh, post in the comments, let me know. So as long as you're happy with what you see, you can go ahead and hit start and send it over to your laser. And with any luck, you should be left with something like this. Now, obviously your names are gonna be a little bit different and you can get a little creative with the wrapping paper you use or whatever you decide to put on the back, maybe a family photo, but, yeah, this was sort of a fun one, so I hope you enjoyed it. As always, all the settings are for my 10 watt longer Ray 5, so if you have to change the settings a little bit, then uh, you'll just have to play around with that. I do actually have a discount code for one of these down below for the Black Friday sale, so check that out if you're looking for a laser, and I'll have all the links to the 12 by 12, three millimeter, and all the wood and stuff I use in the video, as always, so really appreciate it. If you would subscribe and like the video, feel free to download the link, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it.